Hello, everyone. This is John, the parts guru from Overnight Parts from Japan. Today, we'll be discussing these NPR D16A1 P29 pistons. These give uh, you a really good high compression ratio um, when fit with some very specific parts uh, in the Honda Civic D16 builds. So if we go to the Zealworks link here, Zealworks calculator, I have it actually here already filled out. Um, what we wanted to discuss is how to get some really high compression, um, but not too high a compression. So anywho, you need this piston. It's right here, the P29P M7 piston. Um, so I wanted to walk through the calculator real quick. Um, we got our D16 crank and block. We're going to go uh, 20 over or 50 millimeter. Um, that's a 20 over size. Then we're going to hop over here and we're going to use the 95 or 92 to 95 head, which is this D16 Z6. This one here is the VTEC head from 96 to 2000. And that one gives you a little um, um, higher compression ratio. So we are going to shy away from that right now. So um, now let's go down to our piston here, which gives us this 7.2 dome. Um, and now we're going to run down to the, uh, let's see here, connecting rod is D16. Head gasket thickness. If you go with the stock head, head ga gasket thickness, you end up a little over 12 to 1. Um, if you can find this other one, it gets it just a little bit lower, so you don't have to go by a custom thickness. Um, so let's get down here and let's deck the head three thousandths and let's uh, give it a calculation. So kabing, this yellow color is what we're looking for. Here is our compression ratio. Bingo. Now you could probably get away with running premium um, on the daytime and like race gas on this, you know. Um, but you'll probably need some type of tuning. This is just the hard parts. So I wanted to show that piston um, and calculator option to you guys. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this, um, but I'm out here slinging pistons. So here we go. Um, here we have them in stock, and we get them from Engine Pro. They come in the Engine Pro box. They are all NPR pistons um, and rings at just the way the sticker goes. So we get them by the boatload. So come and order them from us. I'm here 24-7, uh, not really, but 10.30 till 6, Monday through Friday. You can order them online at onpfj.com. And we're here, um, you know, showing off at least all the specs and why this particular piston is interesting. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And um, watch the unboxing begin here next. So, to do that, I have to, all right, so here's the box, 10-502-2, these are 20 over, D16A1, 75 millimeter bore. I use this hook to open it because they are packed in here real tight. The flaps open up and they are technically uh, protecting the pistons from banging up against each other. Here they are. They're coming, they come individually wrapped um, and the pistons are, piston rings right here are stacked sideways in the box. There's the part number if you need it. I can put that in the notes commentary. Okay, I get this piston out, and the bag and the wrist pin are actually kind of kind of pinched in there, so I have to take it off camera to pull it apart. Now, this isn't the first time I've ever seen this with pistons. It's the wrist pin slides out and pinches the bag. So let's get rid of the bag. As you can see, the wrist pin slides in here very smoothly. That's how they should show up when they arrive. If your pins are real seized and don't move, um, yeah, you probably need to give us a buzz and send them back. Um, the machine shop guys will clean them up with one of their um, 
uh, tools though. They can clean them up before they hang their pens. So anyways, that's wrist pins for you. As you can see, um, it has a little bit of a dome to it. I tried to put it over the black cloth in the background so you could see the dome. There's the top of the piston. So you can see the engraving marks. I have pictures of them. Here, I will click them and highlight this for the, uh, there's a picture of the dome. Here's a picture of the top. So anywho, those are our uh, NPR pistons.